Imagine you're at the store and a shiny new gadget catches your eye. You don't really need it, but you swipe your card anyway. Later, you wonder where all your money went. This is a story many people can relate to, and it's a perfect example of how small financial decisions can add up over time. Without realizing it, you might be slowly digging yourself into a financial hole. The good news is that it doesn't have to be this way. By making smart choices and avoiding common financial mistakes, you can take control of your money and work towards financial freedom. This video is here to help you do just that. We'll explore the most common personal finance mistakes people make and show you how living a more frugal life can help you avoid these pitfalls. Frugal living isn't about depriving yourself. It's about making your money work harder for you. By being mindful of your spending and focusing on what truly matters, you can build a life where money worries don't hold you back. Let's start this journey to financial freedom together. Number one, not having a budget. One of the biggest mistakes people make with their money is not having a budget. A budget is like a roadmap for your finances. Without it, you might find yourself lost, wondering where all your money went. Many people think budgeting is too hard or too restrictive, but in reality, it's the key to taking control of your money. When you don't have a budget, it's easy to spend more than you earn. You might start using credit cards to cover the gap, leading to debt that's hard to pay off. Even small expenses, like daily coffee runs or impulse buys, can add up quickly and leave you with nothing left for savings or emergencies. The good news is that budgeting doesn't have to be complicated. Start by writing down how much money you earn each month and then list all your expenses. This includes everything from rent and bills to groceries and entertainment. Once you see where your money is going, you can make adjustments to ensure you're not spending more than you earn. Budgeting also helps you set aside money for important goals, like building an emergency fund or saving for a big purchase. By sticking to a budget, you'll know exactly where your money is going and have more control over your financial future. It's a simple but powerful tool that can help you avoid financial stress and move closer to financial freedom. Number two, impulse buying and consumerism. Impulse buying is another common mistake that can seriously harm your finances. We've all been there, seeing something on sale or a new product that looks exciting, and before we know it, we've bought it without thinking twice. This kind of unplanned spending is often driven by consumerism, the idea that buying more stuff will make us happier. But the truth is, impulse buying usually leads to regret. You might end up with things you don't need or even forget about after a few days. Meanwhile, the money you spent could have been used for something more important, like paying off debt or saving for a future goal. Consumerism encourages us to keep buying, even when we don't need to. Advertisements and social media make it seem like we need the latest gadgets, clothes, or other products to be happy or successful. But this kind of thinking can lead to overspending and financial trouble. To avoid impulse buying, try to pause before making a purchase. One helpful trick is the 24-hour rule. Wait a day before buying anything that wasn't planned. Often, you'll find that the urge to buy fades and you'll realize you don't need the item after all. Another tip is to make a shopping list and stick to it. This helps you focus on what you really need and avoid unnecessary purchases. By being mindful of your spending and resisting the pull of consumerism, you can save more money and move closer to financial freedom. Number three, neglecting an emergency fund. Neglecting to build an emergency fund is a mistake that can leave you vulnerable when unexpected expenses arise. Life is full of surprises, your car might break down, you could lose your job, or you might face a sudden medical bill. Without an emergency fund, these situations can quickly turn into financial disasters. An emergency fund is money set aside to cover unexpected expenses. It's like a safety net that catches you when life throws you a curveball. If you don't have the safety net, you might end up relying on credit cards or loans to get by, which can lead to debt and added stress. 
Many people put off building an emergency fund because they think they can't afford to save. But even small amounts add up over time. The key is to start saving whatever you can, even if it's just a little bit each month. Over time, your emergency fund will grow, and you'll have peace of mind knowing that you're prepared for the unexpected. Experts recommend having three to six months worth of living expenses in your emergency fund. This might seem like a lot, but you don't have to save it all at once. Start with a smaller goal, like saving $500 or $1,000 and build from there. By making your emergency fund a priority, you'll protect yourself from financial setbacks and feel more secure. It's a simple step that can make a big difference in your journey toward financial freedom. Number four, ignoring debt or only paying minimum payments. Ignoring debt or only paying the minimum payments is a common mistake that can keep you trapped in a cycle of financial stress. When you carry debt, especially high interest debt like credit cards, it can quickly grow out of control. The longer you take to pay it off, the more interest you'll end up paying, which makes it even harder to get out of debt. Many people think that as long as they're making the minimum payments on their credit cards or loans, they're doing okay. But in reality, paying just the minimum means most of your money goes toward interest, not the actual debt. This can make it feel like you're not making any progress and your debt might even increase over time. The first step to tackling debt is to face it head on. List all your debts, including the amounts owed, interest rates, and minimum payments. This will give you a clear picture of what you're dealing with. Next, consider strategies like the snowball method, where you focus on paying off the smallest debt first, or the avalanche method, where you pay off the debt with the highest interest rate first. By paying more than the minimum, even just a little bit extra each month, you can start to reduce your debt faster. Over time, this will save you money on interest and help you become debt-free sooner. Taking control of your debt is a crucial step toward financial freedom and peace of mind. Number five, failing to plan for retirement. Failing to plan for retirement is a mistake that can lead to serious financial problems later in life. Many people put off saving for retirement because it seems far away or they think they'll start saving later. However, the sooner you start planning for retirement, the easier it will be to build a comfortable nest egg for your future. One of the biggest reasons people don't plan for retirement is that they underestimate how much money they'll need. It's easy to think that social security or a small pension will be enough, but in reality, these sources often fall short of covering all living expenses, especially with rising costs of healthcare and inflation. By not planning early, you miss out on the power of compound interest, which helps your money grow over time. The longer your money has to grow, the more you'll have when you retire. Even small contributions made early on can add up to significant amounts by the time you retire. To start planning for retirement, Look into options like a 401k through your employer or an individual retirement account, IRA. If your employer offers a matching contribution, try to take full advantage of it. It's essentially free money for your retirement. It's also important to regularly review and adjust your retirement plan as your income and financial situation change. By starting early and staying consistent, you can ensure a more secure and comfortable retirement giving you peace of mind and financial freedom in your later years. Number six, frugal living tips to avoid these mistakes. Embracing frugal living can help you sidestep common financial mistakes and pave the way to financial freedom. Here are some simple tips to get you started. Create a budget. Start by tracking your income and expenses. Knowing where your money goes helps you make informed decisions and prevents overspending. Plan your purchases. Avoid impulse buying by making a shopping list before going to the store. Stick to the list to resist temptations. Build an emergency fund. Set aside a small amount each month into a savings account. Even $20 a week can add up over time, providing a cushion for unexpected expenses. Tackle debt head-on. Prioritize paying off high-interest debts first. 
consider paying more than the minimum to reduce the debt faster and save on interest. Save for retirement early. Even if it's a small amount, start contributing to a retirement account as soon as possible. Time is your friend when it comes to growing your savings. Seek alternatives. Before making purchases, look for free or cheaper alternatives. For example, borrow books from the library instead of buying them or cook at home instead of eating out. By adopting these frugal habits, you'll not only avoid common financial pitfalls, but also build a strong foundation for a secure financial future. Achieving financial freedom is possible when you avoid common mistakes and adopt smart, frugal habits. Remember, frugal living isn't about deprivation, it's about making wise choices that lead to a more secure and fulfilling life. Financial freedom is within your reach, and with the right mindset, you can make it a reality. Now, if you want to learn how to achieve financial success, then watch this video next. And if you made it to this point of the video, please like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.